Okay, so what we'll do now is create the inside versus outside hours um, um, chart. So we just double click on the, um, oh, sorry, no, click on the chart and go Power Pivot Field List. So that will pull up the, uh, the menu list. Um, so what we want to do is go inside work hours there, total charge they'll default to a sum, so that looks good, um, so close that down. What I'm going to do is remove these little buttons, so right click on, so right click, select them, right click on them, hide all value buttons, just give this a title, um, inside versus outside work hours. Um, obviously you can change the um, format the axis um, to what sort of number we want to do ours as a currency no decimal places so let's close that up so that's fine we're going to drop this on the side um, remove the total so just highlight it press delete you can see that most of the spend is outside work hours okay now we're going to create the roaming versus um, uh, basically the roaming chart which is the this one down here so roaming chart is split by location so we just go back into the, uh, into the worksheet pivot table we're going to put a pivot chart in there existing location so this will then drop it in the cell that I've selected so that looks good um, what we're going to do is we want to have it by the zone and that is there, so we drop that here. This will basically say whether it's Australia or America or whatever. And we have the charge, it'll default to the uh, particular um, chart type. Um, what I want to do is change the, um, the uh, design of that. So I'm going to change, uh, change chart type, I'm going to change it into a pie chart. So that's sort of a bit more intuitive. I'm going to play around with the um, um, the how the data is uh, is displayed. So I'm going to click on the actual pivot chart. I'm going to add some labels. Uh, no, let's actually change the uh, let's format the labels. We're going to have the um, category name. Show it as a percentage. Let's get rid of the yeah. Let's have the value. No, let's not have the value, that's fine. Close that up, let's get rid of that box there. And again, like before, let's remove the buttons from it and then shrink it down to a more user-friendly size. Just double check that the um, um, that it is linked to all of the slices. No, it's not, so therefore Okay, so now we've got the sort of the nuts and bolts of a working um, working pivot chart. So I'm just going to shrink this down so we can actually see the uh, see the whole thing. Zoom it. Just let's just throw it onto 75%. Okay, so now essentially we've got the basics of we've got all the um, all the key information we need um, need in the uh, power pivot, so we can. Toggle uh, inside, outside, work hours, spend. Um, it's always good just to eyeball this to make sure everything's connected up properly. If we're um, so, let's look at, for example, see how much spend there was in August, eighteen thousand. In uh, July, nineteen thousand. Um, and so what we can do now is just really add a little bit of lipstick to the um, to the um, to the chart. So we can do things like um, um, we can remove the the grid lines from that. So that would be under uh, where is it views. So remove the grid lines. We can insert a image. So we can just um, go insert a picture. So we can just, uh, what we can do is minimize the uh, the ribbon just by right clicking there and we can shift 
things around. So that is the basics of building a uh, scorecard in Excel 2010 and PowerPivot. So I hope you found that um, that useful. And uh, if there's any questions, come across to um, to my website um, analyticsinaction.com. Feel free to um, uh, have a look on the various other. Um, posts we've got on um, analytics and business intelligence.